So let's kick start the analysis. Company name is Basilic Fly Studio. Company offers a wide range of VFX services to their customers. I have divided the analysis of company in three sections business analysis, customer base, financial analysis. Let's talk about business analysis. Basilic Fly Studio is established in 2012 and it offers the wide range of services in VFX. We can see here they offer different services to their clients like FX, Creature, Match Movers, etc. When we talk about their customer base, they are uh, reputed customers like Marvels, Warner Brothers, Amazon, and Apple TV also. When we talk about their some of the latest project, they have de delivered a quality work. We can see here they contributed in the Avatar. They contributed in Marvel series like Thor. Also, they have worked for some of the superman movies also which is quite interesting and it shows that they deliver a high quality product or services let's talk about the management we can see here they have a young and dynamic team a lot of young people are there in the team bfx mission of the organization is they want to be the vanguard of the vfx world and today, BFS has evolved into a sizable organization with offices in China, Pune, London, and Canada. It shows they are a growing organization. Now, let's talk about the financial analysis. Now, we are looking for consolidated financial statement of VFS. If we see their top line growth, their top line growth is also growing very drastically like the revenue from the operation has been grown from 2515 lakhs to 7866 lakhs so if you see the total revenue grown the percentage growth is around 200 percent which is really good now let's look at the expenditure part if we see the expenditure of the organization has also been grown it is a double we can say sometimes expenditure increase is also good like if we can see the employee benefit expense expenses it is increased means it shows they have increased their workforce also the direct expenses it also shows some of the office expenses like they have rented some offices or they have buy out some offices so that shows they have done some investment in that also so expenditure is also increased by double we can say here now uh, being a financial analysis we have to look at profit after tax so if we see the profit after tax of the company has been grown drastically Earlier it was just 90 lakh rupees. Now it is grown to 2,774 uh, lakh rupees. This again shows company is on the right path and it is on the going growing path. Now here we can see the earning per equity share is also at 10 rupees, which is indicates a right uh, things for an investor. Now look at the other part of the balance. Let's go step by step. If we see the shareholder funds, the share capacity is also increased and the reserves and the surplus is also increased from 294 lakhs to 1,466 lakh. It means company is having good handsome amount of cash and the reserves with them, which they can increase they, which they can utilize to increase their business and uh, focus on different services. 
here you can see also one of the use of reserves and the surplus as the company reserves has growing their long-term borrowing is going to reduce last year the long-term borrowing was 309 uh, 309 lakhs now it is 252 lakhs it means company has paid off their some of the loans or the borrowings they took for the long term it means they are repaying their loan also on yearly basis or timely basis this indicates the company having a good intention towards their finance management now let's look at the asset part we can see here non current asset like the property plant and the equipment that is also grown earlier it was triple one like uh, one lakhs now it is 231 lakh it means company has invested in some of the properties as company having a good revenue and the surplus and the reserve with them so they bought some office spaces or the property it shows that it means the company is on the growing stage and at the same time long term loans and the advances we can see here long term loans and the advances also on the reducing side this you can link with the current asset as we can link with the current asset the cash and the bank balance of the organization has been grown significantly we can say it is also a double as compared to the last year and if we see the total asset of the organization it has been grown by 3 to 4 times compared to last year this strong balance sheet shows and boost our confidence about the company and being a smart investor i feel we should invest in that now let's look at the ipo